Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm a senior systems engineer here at AGI, and today we're going to talk about how to create antenna contours for your transmitting systems. So here I have an aircraft that has a antenna based on the lower pod of the aircraft, and I want to show what that antenna pattern might look like. So in order to do this, I am going to open up the properties for my transmitter system. You will notice here that it is a complex type transmitter. Those are the ones that actually have defined antenna patterns with it. Your simple and medium just use an omnidirectional antenna pattern. And we are going to go to the 2D graphics contours page. And here on the 2D graphics contours page, I can do a number of things. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is turn on the show contours option. The next thing that I have is an option to change what type of contour I'm going to show, whether it be an antenna gain, an EIRP, or a flux density option. I'm going to use the antenna gain option. And then the next thing that I have to do is set up my levels for what each color value is going to mean. Now, in order to find out what that values should be, I can look at azimuth elevation of my antenna gain values to show how does my gain change over the course of this antenna pattern. So here I can see I have a maximum gain here at 7, I have a lower value here at negative 3 in elevation angles, so now I know what overall range I should be looking at. I can use this on my antenna pattern in my contours to determine what the level should be. Now I've turned on this relative to maximum option and what this does is it allows me to say that the maximum value is no matter what my value of gain is, I all of the steps are going to be off of that value. So if I start the maximum value is 0, negative 5 dB is going to be 5 dB down from whatever our maximum value is. So this is a way you can add levels even if you aren't entirely sure what your maximum gain value is beforehand. So I am now going to set my gain values. I'm going to start at negative 10. I'm going to stop at 0 and do a step of 2. So I add my levels. I see that I have the option to select a color ramp or to explicitly choose what color those contours will be displayed as. I can also choose to turn on the level labels to show for each line what dB value that actually is. So I'm going to leave our label levels on. I'm going to reset this color method back to be color ramp and then I'm also going to turn on the checkbox to show the contours so that they display on our 2D window. Once I click apply, we should now be able to go to our 2D window and see our levels. So now we can see all of the different levels displayed out on our 2D map. And that's how you turn on antenna gain contours on your 2D map. 